was really good. I, uh, I'm kind of surprised. I, my goal at the beginning of the season was like 131 low, so I was really, you know, couldn't be happier with 130 point. What felt right as far as that race tonight? Um, I didn't take it out too hard. I took it out about around the same that I did at Big Tens, but you know, I wasn't shaved for Big Tens, so I was obviously going a lot, a lot hard on the way out. But I had a lot more on the way back this time, so that was really good. Yeah. To be in the 130 point range, which obviously Dylan had just done, and you know, obviously Talley did last year, so. What does that say about how the event's gotten so much faster? And did, did what you see saw from the other guys be like, you know, hey, I can I can do this too? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's crazy how fast it is. I don't know how many 130 were, splits were in that, but, I, you know, like four or five. And, um, you know, I think it's true about when people say, like, when, once someone breaks a barrier, it's a lot a lot easier to get to, to where that was. And I think that's true. Um, but it also speaks to how fast that, that has gotten. I mean, I would never have thought that many people would be in the 130s. Yeah. Um, Ray said that he doesn't think it's going to be as fast in the individual event. What do you think? Um, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it that, you know, I, I'm kind of still expecting Talon to drop 129 on us. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Um, how does this set, set you up and set the team up for the uh, next couple of days? Good. Really good. Um, you know, I'm happy. That was a best time of over a second. So, it sets me up really good for the rest of the week. So Caleb ducked you guys tonight, but you and Ryan were out there. Yeah, I was I was looking forward to that. That would have been so cool for me, Ryan, and Caleb to swim, you know, lead off all next to each other. But yeah, he, I don't know, he left. I guess. Well, I'm pretty sure he's here. Yeah, I know. I and I looked over and I was like, okay, yeah, <laughs> he he ditched. So racing Ryan after spending so much time with him over the summer, so. What what do you know about racing him, and how much do you enjoy racing him? Oh, I, lo I love racing him, and, and you know, like Caleb too. That's why it would have mm -hmm. been so cool if all of us were there, and, and I wanted a picture of all three of us racing together because <laughs> that would have been that would have been really cool, pretty epic. But uh, yeah, I mean, Ryan, he's an amazing racer. His underwaters are incredible. Um, you know, he used to say he had dirty undies at the Olympics because his underwaters are so dirty. Um, but yeah, I love racing him. You know, he's one of my good good friends, and it was pretty. It was exciting. Yeah, fifty tomorrow. Yep, so we'll see. We'll figure out a better chance of like scoring the 50 than I do the 2 I am. so why yeah. not? So, uh, what's it like competing pretty close to, to IU? I mean, you guys get some fans out here, you got some friends, family. I mean, it's, yeah. it's pretty cool to be close. Yeah, mostly family, and it is a, it is a big advantage not having to fly across country to, to come and race. You know, guys from like Cal and Stanford have three-hour time difference, and they have to fly over, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks, Blake. Appreciate right. it. Thank you.